So today we are talking about how to get your partner to support your birth plan. Because this conversation comes up so often. And in fact, yesterday, this question came up again, where a mom was saying, how do I get my partner to start reading the books that I'm reading? Are there any books that appeal to men about hypnobirthing? This is what she was wanting to have her partner get on board with. And is there something that he can take, like a class or a book or something? Truth, reality, there is very little out there for geared to partners. In fact, the only book that I would really recommend on anything for birth right now, currently, would be The Birth Partner, which is this book right here. This is an older edition, but The Birth Partner is the complete guide to childbirth for birth partners, not specifically geared to men, but it also covers for if you're a doula or if you're a support person. And it's very helpful for you to know as well. But other than that, there's a few guides out there. There's like a dude's guide to pregnancy and there's a father's handbook and <laughs> it's all mainstream. You don't want that. You want your partner to be able to actually support you in the environment that you're choosing to birth in. And you want them to support your choices because the reality is that you as the birthing person in the relationship, you have all the power right now. You have all the control. Anything that upsets your physiology or your mental state is going to affect your birth. So your partner, unfortunately, they don't really get a say in this. Ultimately, you're the one that decides whether or not you're going to birth your baby at home or the hospital or how that birth is going to look or if it's unassisted or if you hire a midwife because you are the one who knows your intuition best. You are the one who knows your instincts and your partner is on the outside and they have been taught in a culture of fear, as you know, and you yourself have been taught in a culture of fear and we've lost that beautiful masculine and feminine dynamic in our energy. And so what you need to understand about the masculine is that they are about control and they are about protection. And your feminine energy that you have is all about surrender. It's about allowing. It's about releasing what does not serve you. And stepping into that energy is a powerful experience. It's about setting intentions, not goals. Now, your partner, of course, especially if they are male, they are very much results-based. They are oriented on this step, goes to this step, goes to this step, outcome. So what they're looking for in you is for you to tell them what to do. They are, aren't actually interested in sitting there and reading a bunch of books and all of the stuff that you're doing and the classes, they're really looking for what's my role here. Because come birthday, your birthing day, you're not going to be there. You're not going to be there present with them. You're going to be in another world. You're going to be in your own intuition and in your own instincts and in your own body. It's going to feel like you're not there to them. And that is a really, really scary place. And this is something that I noticed when I've been serving my clients, specifically Rebecca, as you know, she had a vaginal birth after two cesareans at home unassisted with her partner. But the thing is that as I was teaching Rebecca in our three month program, she had the questions answered and she was feeling really confident by about the first month. For one month of me teaching her physiological birth and helping her tap into her intuition she was already starting to stand in her power. She was asking her care provider for what she actually wanted and not taking what her care provider was saying as an indicator that she wasn't allowed to have something. She started to see what is it that I want? What is it that I'm standing towards? What do I need? And she was focusing from that place. She was focusing from her feminine energy which is what you really need for birth. Birth is a feminine act. It is the ultimate feminine act. And your partner 
is coming in on the masculine side because while you are deep in your feminine, what needs to happen is there needs to be that masculine energy. Otherwise, it's just too wild. It's too uncontrolled. It's too scary. And you're going to get stuck in your fear if you do not have that protection. But it has to be the right protection. So at a certain point, while I was going through this with Rebecca, she started to tell me about what her partner was doing. And she was telling me about how he was still a little anxious, but he was ultimately following her lead. And that's when I said, let's bring him in. And so for not every session, but a few sessions, we would bring her partner in and he would express his concerns. And his concerns were, well, what happens if there's an emergency? What happens if the placenta doesn't release right away? What happens if there's bleeding? What happens if my wife isn't doing well or my son isn't doing well? What do we do then? Like that was his fear. I need to protect my wife. I need to protect my child. I need to protect that energy. And I need to ultimately make sure that everybody comes out okay. And the other part was, well, what do I do? What do I do on that day? And the more I'm like, you know what? The fact is that everything that you're doing right now, supporting her, holding space for her, that is enough. And as soon as he understood that, that was enough, and he was like, oh, okay, so I don't actually have to do much, but he needed some tasks. He needed some orienting tasks to do. Because again, in the masculine, it's all about what do we do? In the feminine, it's how can this serve me and what do I need? And you need both in yourself and in your partner. Your partner needs to be able to tap into that feminine energy at a greater rate. And usually when it's a male and female dynamic, that's what the ultimate relationship is supposed to be, is that you are deep in your feminine and he is deep in his masculine. And you come together in this beautiful union. As you can see, there's a beautiful painting behind me of the masculine and the feminine energy with the gold and the silver. The fact is, is that you need to have that masculine and you need to have that feminine. And our culture, as I have said so many times, does not honor that. And Reclaiming Childbirth as a Rite of Passage, the book behind me with the red cover, also talks about the masculine and the feminine energy. And I've been really interested lately on this feminine and masculine dynamic, especially after watching this empowered birth with Rebecca and her husband. Because on that birthing day, he knew what he needed to do. He was ready. He was like, I know exactly what I need to do for this birth. I need to set up the pool. There's a task. I need to make sure that the food and everything is ready in case she's hungry, that was another task. I need to have water available, that was another task. I need to make sure that the lights are dim, that was another task. I need to make sure that the yoga ball is available for her, another task. I need to make sure that the kids are taken care of and that I have that task of calling somebody to take them if we need to have more quiet, that was another task. So as she was doing her thing, he had his tasks and he was doing his tasks. He was making sure that the environment was clear of clutter and making sure that she had that birthing space. And then she climbed into the pool and she was in her zone. And when she went into that trance, she wasn't there anymore. She was in her other world. And I was stepping back as the doula in the situation on Zoom. And I was just watching and observing. And it was my calming presence that really got her partner to then look at it as this isn't an emergency. So what happens if you don't have that? Well, if you don't have somebody holding space for your partner, what happens is that your partner gets scared. Because your partner is human and he's also, or they are also there to protect you. And as I said, like this can be any partner, this can be a family member. However, particularly with men, there's that fear of losing control, of losing the ability to protect. That's what they're really afraid of. So the conversation you need to have 
right now, before you try to get your partner on board, is you need to have a conversation with yourself. You need to know what you need in this birth, what you're planning for your experience, how you want to feel in that moment, how you want to be protected, what words, what phrases you feel would be most safe for you to allow you to go back deep into yourself when you start to inevitably feel like you can't do it. Because there is always a point in birth where you think that you can't go on, and then you do. And that part usually comes at transition. Now, I myself, my partner, he at least knew what the heck to do because I told him. This partner, of course, I had a toxic relationship. It wasn't working. It didn't serve us. We didn't have that communication. But at least in that small area, he was able to hold space for me. Just that small area. Most of the time, he was bored out of his mind because he didn't know what tasks to do. I had told him, but once he had that, he didn't know how to hold space. But what you want to do is you want to make sure your partner knows how to hold space. And that's where a doula can come in. And again, you need to know what you want. So before you hire a doula, before you hire a care provider, before you start thinking about childbirth classes, before you start getting your partner involved and saying, hey, this is what I want, you have to be clear on what you actually want. You need to know what it is like for you to be supported. What things that might come up that might scare you? You need to know that because until you know what makes you feel vulnerable, what makes you feel scared and contracted and nervous, what you need your partner to help you work through just by holding that space for you to work through it, you need to have all that figured out because until you have all that figured out, your partner has no idea what you want. Your partner is scared. Your partner doesn't know how to help you. If you say that you want a home birth, but you haven't really specified how you want them to support you, they might freak out. If you tell your partner, I want to hire a doula, and you don't explain why a doula is necessary, they might not think your doula is necessary because they have no concept of that. If you say, I want you to come to this childbirth class with me, they have no idea why you want that. For them, they might be thinking of it as, oh yeah, you're going to take notes and, and I'm just going to follow your lead. And this is something that drives me absolutely crazy because my brother currently, he and his wife are thinking of having kids in the next few years. And I have told him over and over and over again, I have said to him, I've said, Travis, just so you know, your sister happens to be a very good childbirth educator for you. And I am willing to coach you and my sister-in-law when it comes close to the time that you're actually planning your family. So please, before you do anything, you need to let me know when you guys have decided to start trying so that I can educate you. And you know what that silly little brother said to me? He said, no, she'll probably just take the classes herself and she'll get the information and then she can pass it on to me and then I'll, I'll know what I need to do. And I'm like, okay, well, your sister just pretty much offered you her thousand dollar coaching program for free as a gift because you happen to be her baby brother and I, and she loves you and you're not taking this seriously at all. But then I really started to think about it. And the fact is, is that, well, my brother is a very masculine, logical person. He is very much in his masculine role of just show me what to do and I'll do it. And then the more I've, had friends that are male and are in their masculine energy, the more I started to understand, okay, I need to teach things a little bit differently when it comes to this group. And so, as I said, you need to know what you want, because unless you know what you want, you won't be able to then take it and get it out of its feminine side and break it down into those tasks that are easily digestible for your partner. 
if you go and hand him or them a book, a hypnobirthing book and say, read this book, and then you'll know what this thing is that I'm doing. They're not going to get it. If you take them to a childbirth class, they're still task oriented and they're not going to get it. They're not going to understand. And you need them to understand. All right. So I've talked a little bit about this and there's so much more that I would love to go into on this topic. In fact, this is one of my five pillars of empowerment. And if you've been following me for a while, then you know that you need to have the right mindset. You need to have the right education. You need to have the right environment. You need to have the right facilitators and you need to have the right support. Well, the fifth pillar of empowerment is all about the right support and having your care provider support you as a facilitator is one aspect, same with the doula, but you need to have your partner's support. You need to have your family member's support. You need to have your friends support. If you don't have that support, then you don't have that emotional side of things to really be able to have that conversation before you're in labor. A doula is an excellent resource. We love to hold space for you. However, our role is still limited because you're texting us and telling us what's going on in a small, small aspect. And we're only with you for about six weeks or possibly even less time. For myself, I also have a coaching program, which is about three months, which does give more support. But again, it's limited. It's limited to weekly sessions. It's limited to messenger. And I can't really get to that deep level where you have an intimate relationship with somebody who you are growing a family with and you need their guidance too because they're part of your journey. So as a doula, what I love to do is work with the couples. I love working with you and your partner so that your partner can support you. Doulas don't just hold babies. We hold mothers and we also hold partners and we watch that beautiful family unfold. And that's our role. Your care provider has a different role. Your care provider is there to assist you when you need assistance. Your care provider also is not always aware of their role. And that's something that I also teach as well. It, in fact, I've written a book recently on how to choose your care provider. If you're ever curious, you can send me a message and I'll tell you where to get it. But the thing is, is that now I want to focus on care uh, on support from your partner. And that will help you so that your partner can get on board with your birth plan and your partner can better support you. And your partner can be in that masculine role when you are deep in your feminine. And then they can come to that place and be like, we did it. We did this as a team. You will be more connected to your partner when you realize that you are a team. And when you can have that, it's just the most beautiful part, the transition from two people to a new family or a transition from the core family to having a new baby. You're reborn every time and your relationship is reborn every time. So one of the things I've noticed with birth is that birth is really a metaphor for life. It is really a metaphor for how you're going to show up in the next part of your life. And so when you have an empowered birth, you then have an empowered relationship. You have an empowered motherhood. You have an empowered life and empowered parenting and empowered decisions and you start to step into that and you start to ask those questions more in your life and things just get way better. And if you have any questions, you can always send me a message or you can send me an email at carly at empoweringmomsbirth.ca. And just to let you know, I've got so much more in store for you. I am so excited. So I will see you soon. Talk to you later.